Hi, my name is Jordan Hurt. I'm the Senior Technical Director for Dream City Church and Front of House Engineer. Uh, this Thursday, we're doing a big New Year's Eve celebration on December 31st. So we've got our normal S7000 for Front of House. We have Michael, who is one of our other technical directors, mixing monitors on the C1500 with a DM32. And we have Rob, one of our other volunteers, mixing broadcast on the Avantis. And we're basically using tie lines to connect to everything. We're using uh, a Waves card to multi-track and do virtual sound check on all three desks simultaneously, getting everything ready to go for the service. Because this event's gonna be such a big deal for our church, we really thought it'd be cool if we could have a individual console for every position. It was really important to us to have a really good online mix, especially because we've got a lot of things happening in between different portions of the service online that are separate from what's happening in the house. And a monitor engineer is just really helpful when you're running higher channel counts than normal to be able to take care of all of our wedges and ears and make sure the band is good to go. The great thing about Allen and Heath is it's so easy to connect multiple consoles together so simply with just a couple cables and a couple cards. Normally we just have the S7000 and the DM64 doing all the work for front of house monitors, sending a stereo mix to broadcast, and it was just as simple to also have the additional two consoles over Giga Ace. We're running about 56 inputs. I've got about 12 channels of drums. We've got eight wireless vocal mics, um, and then we've got a couple speaking mics as well. Uh, two handhelds, two lapels, labs, um, head-worn mics, uh, different variety of those things. We've got eight channels of tracks that are all happening over Dante via our Dante 128 card. We've got uh, two electric guitars. Uh, we've got up to three acoustic guitars. And then we've also got uh, keyboards. We have bass. And of course, aside from that, we have various things like all of our computers that are sending audio from videos. Um, we have our hosting mics. We have various uh, instant replay channels, uh, music director mics, MDs, and of course, audience mics. Yeah, so one of the really nice things about the DLive is we have just all these features at our disposal. I mean, we have the interchangeable preamps that all give a unique sound to everything, which I just absolutely love. One thing that Alan and Heath provides that pretty much nobody else does is the dynamic gate processing, which gives you a multiband uh, compressor and a multiband EQ per each dynamic eight unit. And of course on the DLive, uh, you get 64 of those. Any of the Allen & Heath products that are out right now have probably some of the best reverbs. You just don't get any better than these reverbs on digital desks these days. So across our entire organization, we've actually been switching everything over to Allen & Heath because it's so important to us that not only does our mix sound consistent, but it's consistent for our operators as well. Hi, my name is Michael Lemus. I am one of the technical directors here at Dream City Church. Uh, for this upcoming event, I am using the DLive C1500. Uh, I am controlling the, both the monitors and the in-ear mixes for the band. On my console, the way I have it laid out is Bank A is all my drums. Bank B is going to be, you know, my, kind of like my emotional part. So my bass, my keys, my electrics, um, two acoustics. I had an extra one set up just in case. Um, sometimes we run two acoustics, so it's just got to be able and willing to pivot. And that's one of the things that I actually really like about the DLive, is that it's so versatile um, to where I can go ahead and organize my console the way I see fit. We run eight stereo in-ears. You don't need to take up too much real estate for a stereo send. Um, you can control uh, both of them on one fader. So that's really nice when it comes to a uh, condensed space such as this. Um, and then our monitors are all mono sends. Our monitors are in the front of the stage. And uh, the reason why for this event we wanted to have some separate control is because of how many moving pieces that we had going on. We wanted to make sure that we eliminated feedback on every single source. So with our high sensitivity mics, such as our lavaliers, lapels, uh, we wanted to have individual control. So some of my favorite features of the DLive is uh, really kind of just how flexible this whole console is. Um, starting off with the soft keys, instead of having to go to bank E to uh, get to all my mixes, I was just able to program all my soft keys to go ahead and um, 
be able to monitor those from there. Another one of my favorite features is the Dyn8. I'm able to just go to the library and choose whatever compressors I want. And they're really great sounding compressors. We are currently using the Shure Accent series microphones. We're able to monitor on all of our desks, battery, RF power, and gain. So I've spoken about the uh, vocalists. Now the band uh, is running the Allen & Heath ME1 system. Basically all I have to do is go to my IO and patch what I want the ME to take. And as soon as it does that, then I don't have to worry about the band anymore. They're able to mix their own ears and it takes a lot of stress off of me. Prior to being asked to run monitors for this event, I actually had never mixed on a such a compact console, but I gotta tell you, the flexibility of this console uh, really allows you to um, do so much with such little real estate. Uh, it really helps to have everything kind of compact so you can quickly get to something as fast as you need to. For monitor world, you know, generally, you know, you can be tucked off in the corner. This smaller desk really was a big help. My name is Rob Salazar and I'm the broadcast engineer for this upcoming New Year's Eve show. My job for this upcoming show is to give the online audience a good feel of what's happening in this room without actually being here. Given I'm not a seasoned engineer like most of my peers here at Dream City Church, one thing I really like about the Advantis is how easy it is to navigate the desk. One of my favorite things about the Advantis is both screens are the exact same so I can be looking at my IO and patching over here while also be looking at my banks and my EQs, my compressions, my gates, all that can just be right here in front of me without having to navigate from page to page and possibly losing what I'm looking at on the other screen. Everything's laid out right in front of you from EQs to high pass, low pass filters, gates and compression, it's all right here. One thing unique about this upcoming show for us is we're actually gonna have a 30 minute intermission where our online campus host is gonna be walking around and asking people questions. It's gonna be really useful to have a broadcast engineer for that because it lifts some of the weight off of our front of house engineer. So over on the right side of my desk here, I have all my DCAs laid out here. I have vocals, EGs, AGs, keys, drums, track, band, my main, and I also have copied on all of my pages all four of my speaking mic mics that we're gonna be going through throughout the night. On uh, my B bank here, I have some effects here as well as my audience mics. Because I can't be wearing a comms headset while mixing with cans, we patched in our comms right here into the desk so I can hear video cues as well as audio cues. Over here at bank A, I have all my drums laid out here. And at B, I have bass as well as keys one and two, EG one and two, and acoustics one and two. Down at bank C, I have all my vocals as well as my handheld that I'm gonna be using for the intermission with the online host. And down here at D, I have all my tracks laid out. I have uh, EG track, AG track, BGV's track. And at bank E, I have all my computer source audio for, for videos or for, for music in the background. While the sound quality of the desk is important, I'm a huge fan of the finish of the full metal chair chassis on the Advantis. It's comfortable. I've already spent countless hours here at this desk and I love it. With these 15 inch touchscreens, I feel like I don't have to strain my eyes or squint when looking at it for long periods of time. It's at my fingertips and it's easy to see everything. I think the Advantis is great for maybe a smaller venue, maybe audio broadcast or someone like myself who's fairly new into audio but still needs to get familiar with everything before stepping up to a DLive. So all of our campuses now have a DLive S-Class mixer in their sanctuary. All of our youth rooms are getting an SQ. All of our kids ministries are getting QU mixers and we are also looking at the Avantis for some of our smaller campuses. You will not find any other desks than Allen Heath. 